Hello, this is channel Easy Self Host. In this video, we are going to host an authentication solution for self-hosted web services that doesn't have any authentication. And we can also enable two-factor authentication for better security. I'm using the Silverbullet app as an example. We hosted this app in the last video, and as I mentioned, it doesn't have any authentication built in. We are going to host Authelia as our single sign-on service and LLDAP to manage our username and passwords. The final architecture will look like this. Our proxy server will send an authenticated user to Authelia, and Authelia will verify our username and password by looking up the LDAP service. Then Authelia will send us back to the actual apps. Okay, let's get started. The Docker Compose and other configuration will be more complicated this time, but I've pre-configured a lot of stuff that you only need to change a few things. I moved the Nginx Proxy Manager service config to this new Compose file because we are going to change it a little. You can still maintain the previous data by using the same data and less encrypt volume. We are adding this new volume for the Proxy Manager to work with Authelia. It's some Nginx configuration under the same directory. We are going to use them later in the Proxy Manager UI. Next is Authelia, the new service we are adding. It has its own configuration file and some environment variable configuration in this .env file. We are going to take a look at that later. Next is our LDAP service using LLDAP project. We are also going to configure it in the same .env file. In this .env file, we only need to change the first section for the default configuration to work. First, you need to provide the base domain name for every service you are going to run. In my case, it's home.easyselfhost.com. Next, you are going to enter the same thing in another format. Then there are three keys and secrets that Authelia and LLDAP use to encrypt session or storage. Please use randomly generated content for them. Lastly, you need to provide a password for the default admin user in LLDAP. Please remember to keep this secret value safe. I've pre-configured other part of Authelia, but I recommend reading their documentation to understand how things work and also customize your config. You also need to change one thing in the proxy configuration that is located at the end of the first one. You are going to change the host name to the Authelia host that you are going to use. In my case, it's auth and my base domain name. That's all for the configuration part. Hope it's not too complex. Like before, we are going to connect to our server and find our docker compose file and use the command docker compose app d to bring up all the services. Wait for a while and you're good to go. Next, let's go to the Nginx proxy manager we configured before. Let's first add a proxy rule for our LDAP service. The port of this service is 17170. The rest of the fields is like other services. And remember to enable HTTPS. Then let's go to the LDAP service page. Here we log in the admin account using the password we provide in the configuration file. Using the admin, we can register and manage user in this system. Let's create our first user by filling this form. With an account created, we can go back to the Nginx proxy manager. Here, let's add another proxy rule for Authelia. I'm using the domain auth.home.easyselfhost.com and the port is 1991. Let's also enable HTTPS in the SSL section. And then we need to go to the advanced section and enter these lines in the text box. It references the configuration we add in the Docker Compose. Let's save the proxy rule, and then we need to modify the proxy rule for the services that need authentication. We only need to add this content to the advanced section. It guards the proxy rule with authentication. Let's save the proxy rule and try it out. For the first time, we might need to clear the browser cache for this site. You can do this in every browser. After this, you will be redirected to the authentication page. Here, let's enter the username and the password we just added. For the first time, every user will be prompted to set up their two-factor authentication. You can choose to use time-based password or authentication keys. I'm going to use time-based password. When we click register device, it says an email will be sent to your address. But actually, we haven't set up our email services. But instead, we can find the email content in a local file on our server. Let's head to our server connection and show the file content and then copy this one-time link and open it in our browser. Here, we are given the time-based password secret to generate the six-digit code. You can use any authenticator app that supports this, like Google Authenticator, but I'm using the Vault Warden server I set up in another video. 
Here, let's paste the authentication key in the TOTP section, and then save it and open the item again. And you can see the code in real time. Let's go back and click done, and then input the code, and your two-factor authentication is successfully set up. Let's go back to the previous page. Since you already authenticated, you can just refresh the page and you're in. If you want to sign out, you can go to the Authelia page and click log out. Then you are signed out and need to fill in username and password again. That's all for setting up authentication. I highly recommend reading through Authelia documentation to discover more features. For example, you can set up real email notification using your Gmail account. And you can use Authelia as an OAuth identity provider for other apps that support it. That's all for this video. Please consider subscribing for content like this. You can find the Docker Compose file on GitHub and the link is in description below. Thank you for watching.